Welcome to respirator training, donning and doffing for half masks and full face respirators. First, let's talk about a half mask elastomeric respirator. In this one, you want to put it around your back of your neck first, and then you want to seat it to your face properly. I can use the straps up here to tighten it. The lower strap has the ability to be tightened in back as well. Once I have the respirator seated comfortably, firm, but not so tight it pinches my face or creates gaps at the edge of the respirator. Next, I want to fit check it. I cover the cartridges with my hands and breathe in. I don't know if you can see it, but it collapses next to my nose as I breathe in. Okay, next I'm going to cover the exhalation valve with my hand. On this mask, I can't cover it with my hand without pushing the mask into my face. So I'm going to cover it with a piece of duct tape. Once I have the duct tape on, I will attempt to breathe out and you'll see the mask poof up right here. You'll feel the respirator poof up right here before you feel it blow into your eye. When you take a respirator off, especially this type of respirator where you're supposed to clean it, rinse it in the shower or use a wet towel to wipe it off. A lot of people like to take the bottom strap off first, not what you should do. You always want to take the top strap off first. What you're doing by doing this, if there is debris on the outside of your respirator, you're pushing it down and away from you. If you were to have your respirator on like this and you take the bottom strap off first, and there's dirt or debris on your respirator, you've just dumped it into your face. So you always want to make sure you take your respirator off top strap first. Let any debris that you might have missed when cleaning it fall down below you. Then you take it off the rest of the way and finish your shower. Next, let's talk about donning and doffing a full face respirator. This could be a full face negative pressure respirator, a full face powered air purifying respirator, or a type C respirator, or a scuba gear full face respirator. Doesn't matter, all of them need to fit tightly to our face. If you look closely enough, you'll see that I'm sporting as much of a beard as I can grow. Okay, cheeks, chin, mustache, but my neck is shaven clean. So putting on the respirator, I wanna make sure the straps are loosened and they tighten here and here in the front and here and here on the bottom. I want it loose enough that I can pull it over my face but tight enough that it holds itself in place while I tighten the straps. I want to tighten the upper straps first, then I want to go and tighten the lower straps to make it snug to my face. And I can tell it's snug to my face because the face shield is fogging up. A powered air purifying respirator typically blows air into your face. However, we seal check it in the negative pressure mode with the fan off, or we can convert it into a negative pressure respirator either with a single cartridge, as shown here, or we can put it together in the standard two cartridge configuration. When used like this, we have to plug the air supply valve used by the PAPR or the single filter respirator mode. No matter what configuration the mask is in, we cover the exhalation valve with tape to do the exhalation bit test. We also want to conduct a negative pressure test so if I cover the inhalation valve, oops, wrong side. If I cover the inhalation valve and breathe in, you see that the respirator pulls down on my face. This shows that there's a tight negative pressure seal. Air is gonna be blowing into this respirator 100% of the time, provided the battery and the motor continue to work. You wanna to check to make sure that you don't have air leaking out the sides, either side. You don't want to have it blowing on your ear. You don't want to have it blowing your hair up into the air. And you want to make sure you don't feel any on your throat. When I go to take this respirator off, I want to loosen the top straps or reach behind me and pull the face mask forward. Again, if there's anything on the outside of the respirator, I want it to fall down away from my face. If I were to do it the other way, to lift it, it's not gonna be as bad as the half mask, but by bringing it down here, I could still dump contaminant into my face. I don't want that. 
Things to remember when donning, putting on, or doffing, taking off, a half face or full face respirator. You should always rinse your respirator in the shower or wipe the exterior with a damp cloth before removing it. It can be more thoroughly cleaned before storing it. We seal check powered air purifying respirators with the fan unit shut off. The exhalation valve must be covered for positive pressure tests and the filters covered for the negative pressure test. We prevent potential exposure to debris on the outside of the respirator by rinsing or wiping the exterior before it is removed, then taking the top straps off your head and lower the respirator to your chest. Detach or loosen lower straps and take the respirator off in a downward motion away from your face. You should always clean the exterior of your respirator as well as possible before removing it. Half masks and full face respirators should be seal checked every time they're put on to assure they are seated to the face of the wearer properly. A fit test is done with a challenge agent, usually irritant smoke, once a year. A seal check is done by the wearer covering the mask's filters and trying to breathe in, and then covering the mask's exhalation valve and trying to breathe out every time the mask is put on. Thank you for taking the training today. Please proceed to the quiz.